The deadline was Wednesday for the New England Patriots and Joe Tooney to reach an extension, and it didn't happen. So what does that mean? I'm Sierra Goodwill here with Evan Lazar. So now we know that cap hit is high for Tooney, but why do you think this decision was ultimately made by both the organization and Tooney to not agree to an extension yet? Well, for Tooney, this is a great deal for him. You know, you walk home with 15 million bucks for one year of service. You're not going to complain too much. And really, I think that what happened with the negotiation is for weeks now, sort of the the word on the street is, is that the two sides are pretty far apart, that there's a sizable gap between where Tooney wants to be and where the team feels comfortable extending him. I think a lot of the reason why some of these franchise tag players are not reaching extensions with their teams, Dak Prescott, Yannick Ngakwe, Tooney, other guys, is because of the pandemic. And teams are kind of reluctant right now to hand out big money deals, not knowing exactly how the salary cap is going to be you know, impacted here by COVID-19. So I think the biggest thing for the Patriots and Tooney is that they get him around here for one more season. They put an offensive line in front of whoever's under center that's going to give them a rock-solid unit up front, and then they'll revisit it with Tooney next offseason. But right now, they're pretty far apart. Well, the current circumstances definitely could have played into this COVID-19, the economic impacts of that, probably on both Tooney and the Patriots' minds. Do you think that these two will come to an extension agreement in the future? Because obviously the Patriots value Tooney as a player. Right, and they can also still trade Tooney on the tag. I should mention that. Just because this deadline has passed doesn't mean that the trade is off the table. But I I don't think a trade is necessarily going to happen because of those grievance settlements that they got with Antonio Brown and Aaron Hernandez. They have that wiggle room now on the cap, so they don't necessarily need to go in there and get a contract extension done to lower his cap number this season because they're tied up against it. So with that wiggle room and with that cushion, I think that they will keep him this year and not trade him. But with that being said... In terms of what the future holds for Joe Tooney, he is going to get a top-of-the-market deal. He is one of the best pass protectors among any offensive lineman, tackle, center, or guard. He's one of the best in the league at protecting the passer. That's obviously what the league is all about nowadays. So I think that the Patriots are going to have to offer him a very competitive market deal to keep him in New England. I don't necessarily see that happening. I think he will cash out next offseason. Well, this Patriots Press Pass has been brought to you by Masterclass. Get unlimited access to every Masterclass. And as a Press Pass listener, you get 15% off the annual all-access pass. Just go to masterclass.com slash CLNS.